Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss biology of class six, chapter two, the cell, exercise questions and answer. First, short and precise questions. Number A, give reason for the following statements. Number one question is chloroplast is known as the kitchen of the cell. The answer of this question is. Chloroplast is known as the kitchen of the cell because it traps solar energy to prepare food for the plant. Number two, nucleus is known as the control center of the cell. Answer is, nucleus is known as the control center of the cell because it controls all the activities. that takes place within the cell number 3 question is cell wall give definite shape to the cell answer is cell wall give definite shape to the cell due to its rigidity next number 4 muscle cells help in the movement of bones answer is the muscles pull the bones causing movement the next type of question is number b answer in short question number 1 what is the basic unit of life and why is it called so the answer is for, for the first question cell is the basic unit of life the answer of the second question is cell is called the basic unit of life because all the living organisms are made up of cell and it controls all the activities necessary next number 2 name three scientists whose work lead to the formulation of cell theory answer is matthias jacob sladen comma theodors 1 comma rudolf karl virchow Number 3 question is give any two functions of cell membrane answer is number a cell membrane separates the cell from its surroundings number b it gives definite shape to the cell number 4 where are gene located in the cell next what is their importance answer is genes are located in the chromosome next answer is they are responsible for transfer of characters from the parents to the offspring number 5 draw a diagram showing nucleus and its components as you see that diagram is given in the slide and the pointings also given so first the outer covering of nucleus is known as nuclear membrane now inside the nuclear membrane the browny structure is given which is clumsy in nature it's called chromatin network inside the nuclear membrane another spherical structure is given which is known as nucleolus and inside the nuclear membrane the white part is present is called nucleoplasm next is the long questions number a explain the following terms number 1 cell theory answer is point number 1 of cell theory is all living beings are made up of cells number 2 cells are the basic structural and functional unit of all living beings number 3 new cells arise by the division of pre-existing cells number 2 cell membrane answer each cell is bound by a thin delicate and flexible covering called cell membrane which allows certain substance to pass through number 3 is plastid answer plastids are found only in plant cells they are surrounded by 
a double membrane. Number four, vacuoles. The answer is vacuoles are sac like organelle, contains a fluid called cell sap. It maintains the turgidity of a cell. The next type of questions are differentiate between the followings. First, differentiate between unicellular organism and multicellular organism. Number A under unicellular organism is organisms which are made up of a single cell are called unicellular organism. Example amoeba. Number A under multicellular organism is organism that made up of many cells are called as multicellular organism. Example human being. Number B in unicellular organism. In this organism, the single cell performs all the activities like growth, reproduction and locomotion. Number B in multicellular organism is in these organisms, cells are differentiate to perform different functions. Next question between cell wall and cell membrane. Number A in cell wall. It is a thin, delicate, flexible covering of cell. Number A in cell membrane, it is an additional protective layer outside the plasma membrane. Number B in cell wall, it is present only in plants. Number B in cell membrane, it is present both in animal and plant cell. Number C in cell wall, it protects the internal components of the cell. Number C in cell membrane, it provides rigidity and strength to the cell. Next differentiate between cytoplasm and protoplasm. Number A in cytoplasm, it is a jelly like colorless and translucent fluid present between the cell membrane and nucleus. Number A in protoplasm, the nucleus and cytoplasm together make up the protoplasm. Next a differentiate is between chloroplast and chromoplast. Number A under chloroplast these are also called green plastids because they contain the green pigment chlorophyll. Number A in chromoplast these are colored plastids. Number B in chloroplast chloroplast present in leaves. Number B in chromoplast, they are found in mostly fruits and flowers. The next type of questions are answer in detail. Number one, how were cell discovered and why was the inventions of microscope so important for the discovery of cells? The answer is discovery of cell as possible only because of the invention of a microscope. The next answer is with the invention of microscope, organism made of cells was confirmed as scientists were able to actually see cells in tissues placed under the microscope. Number two, what are the main points of cell theory? Point number one, all living beings are made up of cells. Point number two, cells are the basic structural and functional unit of all living beings. Point number three, new cells arise by the division of pre-existing cells. Question number three, what are the various types of shapes found in the cells? Answer is, the various types of shapes found in the cells are as follows. First, the shape is oval. The unicellular green algae Chlamydomonas has an oval shape. Shape number two, irregular. The single celled body of amoeba is irregular in shape. White blood cells of human beings are also irregular in shape, which helps them to engulf and destroy the harmful material in the blood. Next shape is oblong. Paramecium is sleeper shaped for oblong. 
The next shape is elongated. Muscle cells are elongated and contractile, which are capable of shrinking and contracting. They can become longer and shorter and thus help in the movement of bones. The next shape is thread like. Nerve cells are long thread like. Comma, this enables them to send messages easily across various parts of the body. The last shape is cubical or rectangular. The cells of a leaf are cubical or rectangular. Question number 4. Describe the structure and function of the nucleus. Answer is, first the structure of nucleus. The nucleus is small spherical body present in the cytoplasm. It is surrounded by a double membrane called nuclear membrane. Inside the nuclear membrane is a colorless dense fluid called nucleoplasm. It contains one or more spherical bodies called nucleolus. A network of thread like structure called chromatin is present in the nucleoplasm that carry genes. Now the function of nucleus, nucleus is called control center of the cell. It controls all the activities that take place within the cell. It helps in the transfer of characters from parents to their offsprings. It plays an important role in cell division. Question number 5. What are plastids? Write about different types of plastids. Answer is plastids are found only in plant cells. They are surrounded by a double membrane. There are mainly three types of plastids. Number one, chloroplast. These are also called green plastids because they contain the green pigment chlorophyll. They are present in the green parts of the plant. Chlorophyll traps the solar energy to prepare food for the plants. Hence, chloroplast are also called the kitchen of the cell. Next is chromoplast. These are colored plastids. They are found mostly in fruits and flowers. Yellow, orange, red and other colors of fruit and flowers are due to the presence of chromoplast. Leucoplast. These are colorless plastids. They are found in root and underground stems like potato and ginger. They store food prepared by the plant in the form of starch, protein and fats. Question number 6. What are vacuoles? What is their main role in the cell? Answer. Vacuoles are sac-like structure containing a fluid called cell sap. They are bounded by single membrane called tonoplast. Plant cells have large vacuoles and animal cells have small vacuoles. The function is vacuoles maintains the turgidity of a cell that is the cell remains in shape. They store food, water and wastes.